So guys, I want to take a quick second to uh, to address the elephant in the room. Um, you you guys might have picked up some of this. I think Khan has already put a video out on it. I'll put a video on it a little bit later, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to sit on it for a couple of days. I'm going to try to give Smilegate a chance to like really reconsider this because it it, it sucks, right? It sucks for all of us, but. Um, Smogate, as you know, has decided to be a lot more aggressive in the enforcement of their terms of service, right? We saw it with the ban to Marguerite for the, the cheating in the World Cup. It's the first time we've seen a World Cup uh, participant get just hard punished for, uh, for clear cheating, right? And uh, they aren't stopping there. They're doubling down on making sure that their game has a little bit more competitive integrity and that the rules are enforced. And to that end, they are saying no more logging on to anybody else's account, period. We don't care for what. You want somebody to, you want a streamer to do your polls live on stream for you? No, it's not going to happen anymore. They can't log into your account. It's against the TOS and it's being enforced now. You need an account review done? You better send that streamer like a, a video of your account and, or screenshots and they can review from that. But they're not going to be able to log on to your account to review your account. Um... This is mostly coming as, okay, like quick history lesson, right? We're going to go back to like 2018, 2019, when the game was brand spanking new. It has always been against the terms of service to log on to somebody else's account for any reason, any reason. It's always been against the terms of service. Uh, it does not impact Elf Mage because Elf Mage owns that account. That is his account. He's not logging onto somebody else's account. Um, I, I know it's a little bit of a gray area, but that seems to be the line they're drawing. Yeah, um, no, I, I think yeah, once I, I explain this to you, Aj Ajaber, you're going to think it's not so much of an overreaction as it is a reaction. Okay, so like all the way back in the day, um, the game is just starting to get exposure and there wasn't anything really to do. Right? The only thing that there was to do was to pull units and to um, do uh, labyrinth and account reviews and do pulls. And that was it. There was no RTA. There wasn't even Guild Wars. There was just regular arena and that's kind of it. So streamers started doing this. They started logging onto accounts and doing pulls and stuff. And Smilegate was like, hey, you know what? we're going to go ahead and kind of turn a blind eye to this, right? It's not that it's not against the rules, just like jaywalking is against the law, but we're just going to kind of ignore because it it's not really a big deal and it, it's promoting the game and it's helping us out and it's helping you out. So we're going to go ahead and do this, but do not play somebody else's account. That's the one thing we're going to ask. You can go ahead and log on and do your polls and do your reviews, but don't play the account. Don't do content. Don't uh, push the adventure story don't clear arena for them eventually don't do guild wars for them and that worked for a couple of months and then people started doing it they started actually doing uh content they actually started taking money for account reviews they started taking money to clear content and smilegate rolled in and said stop fucking doing that we said no you cannot do completion account stuff don't do it again only passive logging in, account reviews, stuff. That's what we're turning a blind eye to. But if you start clearing content, doing this other stuff, we're going to start enforcing the TOS on you. So everybody chilled. And and this is about when I started playing the game. I remember Car6 having these discussions with Mashu saying, hey, um, can I do this? No, you can't do that. Well, okay, but can I do this? Like, yeah, that's okay. But the other thing's over the line. Okay, now we know. And... and they were basically just giving us the nod to do something that was against the rules because it was mutually beneficial and it wasn't hurting the game. It wasn't negatively impacting the game. And then we started doing it again. We started clearing content. We started taking money for doing this stuff. We uh, started playing live on stream other people's accounts and it was getting pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. And now here is the bad timing of it, right? The Marguerite shit goes down. Everybody's complaining. Stove posts are being made. Reddit posts are being made. Smilegate feels compelled to do this because, you know, their World Cup leader or their World Cup winner has become the 
um, poster boy for Epic Seven and the poster boy for cheating. And that's not a good look for this game that wants to be an eSport. So they had to do something and they dropped the hammer, right? They're trying to get the money back from him. They're stripping him of his titles. They make a big, big post about it. Content creators make content out of it and start talking about why this is happening, talking about the terms of service, how piloting is not allowed. And piloting by any other definition is logging onto somebody's account and playing their account. That's the very definition of piloting. And they're saying this is not allowed. And then a week later, <laughs> the same content creators who are making these videos saying don't do this shit are out there piloting people's accounts. On stream. On stream. On they're, stream. They're, they're actually it's making content hard. out of it. And I'm not talking Ruining about account reviews. Everybody. I'm talking about doing freaking RTA. And Smilegate lost their fucking minds. This, this really upset them. It felt like a real breach of trust that right after we punished somebody for piloting an account, you guys turn and you guys make a video saying, don't pilot account guys, this is what's gonna happen to you. And then they turn around pilot accounts. And you know, we're not talking a handful of people. This is like most streamers. We're doing this. I'm not gonna call people out or name any names because these are all good friends of mine. Smilegate just said, look, you know, this is the second time and trust has been broken and we're just saying you can't do it anymore. And it sucks. It sucks big time. Account reviews, pulling for users, that was massive content. And I'm really hoping that they, you know, kind of rehash this, that they, that they kind of uh, um, come around a little bit and reconsider going this hard on it. I know it's not easy to say, look, we're going to enforce the terms of service now, but this one we're going to be a little loosey-goosey on. I, I get that. And anybody that says, well, they just need to change the terms of service, that's not reasonable. Changing terms of service, that's a legal contract. We all checked a box and said we agree to it. To change the terms of service is going to involve lawyers, it's going to involve expense, it's going to involve a patch to the game where we all have to re-agree to the newly changed terms of service. Pain in the ass. They, they don't want to do that very often. In fact, I think they've only done it four times since the game's inception because it's a pain in the butt. Profile cards are a problem now too because you can't log on to somebody's account, else's account for any reason. So we have to see. now. I have it on good authority that they're not just blustering on this, guys. They're they're not just they're not just drawing a line in the sand and saying they're going to do this and continuing with the traditional smilegate angle of we're gonna say don't and if you do it, we're gonna say don't again. I I, I was told specifically if you are caught doing this and if there is substantial proof to prove that you did this, you will get banned. Not may, not might. You will go through the ban process, and I believe if I read the terms of service correctly, the ban process for logging onto somebody's account and playing on somebody else's account is first offense one day, second offense one week, third offense perma. So I also, because we did go through it, just so we did look over the terms of service. Because the thing is, that I want to like stress here, because if this was any other company, right? Like if you did this to Hoyoverse, you better lawyer up. So I'm saying this is like, I feel like people getting off scot-free right now. Yeah. Like, Hoyo sued harsh. people over this kind of shit. Yeah. For it breaking the, like, I mean, not, not for account reviews, but for breaking terms of service. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. So it's just like, okay, this is like them clapping back on us, but it's like, it is a clap, but it's not as hard as it could be. Cause you read the terms of service. They could have absolutely lawyered up after these people. And they chose instead to be like, you can't do this anymore. And just leave it at that and just respect that. So here's the other thing too. I'm not sure how deeply people have been actually reading into the change, the changes in terms of service, but realize okay, the error. Real quick they're, clarification, they're, Lucina. There is no change to anything. Yeah, but, yes, this is but just an are, enforcement issue. This yeah. is this is people keep running the stop sign, so they put a cop out there and then they're going to start arresting people who are running the stop sign. Exactly, it was never no. legal to run the stop sign. They're just now enforcing the shit out of it. Now, I guess the, the big issue is when are they, or I guess where do they draw the line with their enforcement? Because there are plenty of things that even like, even like regular players are doing that technically break terms of service. Like, you know, having names that have that reference other IPs or just in general, like, you know, the active profile cards and such. So where, the, where does this end is a very big concern for me because- Well, I can tell you this, Lucina. Yeah. The, the the phrase of the day is that 
they're not changing anything, but they're on high alert, right? Yeah. The the past two months especially have really pissed them off, and they are. I mean, from from everything from Marguerite to 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 piloting to to win fast meta, they're, they're, they 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 just said they're drawing a hard line on it, and that they are um they're going to be looking a lot more aggressively now. Do I think that they're going to, you know, go after people for every little thing? No, of course they're not. But do I think they're going to be very, very aggressive right out of the gate? Yeah, I think they do. I think if you fuck around, you're going to find out. So I would be very, very careful. Yeah. Um, Fribbles is not a gray area. Fribbles is directly against TOS. The thing is, and I hate to say this, but it's the truth. If you don't get caught speeding, you don't get a ticket. If you don't get caught shoplifting, you don't go to jail. It doesn't mean it's not against the rules. If you're going to choose to risk your account and risk being banned, accept the fact that the choices you make can negatively impact your ability to play this game to the point that they can remove your ability to play this game and remove everything you've put into this game through a ban. But, uh, if you think you aren't going to get caught and you're going to take that chance and you're willing to take that chance, you know what? You're, you're a grown up. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life. I'm just going to tell you if you get banned, don't go crying saying, but I only, I only broke the law a little, but this other guy's doing it more than me. I mean, try, try, try next time you get pulled over speeding, looking the cop in the face and say, but that other guy was speeding faster than me. And we'll just watch, watch the cop go, well, damn, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to let you go on your way. I'm going to go try to catch that other guy. It's not going to happen. If you choose to break the rules, you can get banned for it. And that's just, that's just the way it is. Whether or not you're going to break the rules, that's on you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. To live an upstanding life, I'm just going to tell you that if you break the rules, you might have to suffer the consequences. Yeah, you heard it here, guys. Commit crime, just don't get caught. <laughs> it's not illegal if you don't get caught. That's that's the latest drama. Yeah, and if guys, you're going to be a robber, don't be a bad one. Um, you can look through this. Nowhere in the terms of service can I find anything that says alts are against the terms of service. I swear I thought it was in there. No, Vampoon, go, if you, go yeah. look in there, and if you can find it in there, I'll give you a sub. Because I, I thought for sure it was in there, and I looked through it and I could not find it. I even looked at past iterations, because on that site you can actually look at prior Terms of Services, and I couldn't find it usage, anywhere. Abnormal usage, account creation, sign up. Yep. The actions carving yeah, company if it's service abnormal. or abusing in-game service, uh, in yeah. blah, 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 causing inconvenience to other players <laughs> through creating duplicate accounts on similar or identical devices. And yeah, I, 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 receive uh, items dupe, multiple time or make money. Yeah, Either dupe, way, dupe, that's dupe, cre dupe creation to sell dupes. I'm sorry, uh, multiple account creation to sell accounts, multiple account creation that lags the server. We're talking about using like 45 instances of blue stacks at the same time to spam create to oh, get that five star to sell on eBay. Ha you ever notice the, uh, the, the, the stove post where they show the number of people that have been banned and it's always like 25,000 people banned and 24,900 are for abnormal account activity. Those are the people that are, you know, they banned all of those accounts that were lagging the server by being spam created. Um, True, but you can also the, argue at the, the same the, time. The, the, the other 10 falling. are people doing, the other 10 are people actually doing fishy stuff, trying to do gear injection, trying to modify packets to see if they can, you know, put 25 speed gear on all their units to one of my favorites was the damage hack you ever see hollow trials and there's like everybody's got like eight nine ten million and then there's one like level 50 ross guy who's got 45 million it's the damage hacks that's the kind of stuff where you, you get hard banned for they have always been very very gentle they never banned for macroing they never banned for account sharing they never banned for really anything that didn't directly negatively impact the game like like hacking or or, or, or um injecting the, or the or people. really 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 big cheating that became an issue for them that everybody was screaming but now it sounds like they kind of had enough it wasn't Thankfully just so. it wasn't just this cheater, but he was definitely you know the ball started rolling downhill. They 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 have 
the the phrase that they use is they that that trust has been broken. They said don't do this thing and we did it and then they said don't do this thing we mean it and it only took a couple of years for us to start doing it again and they said fine fine you uh evan dariel said it best if your kid is looking at websites he shouldn't be looking at and you say don't look at those websites or you lose your computer and the kid goes okay and then a week later you catch him looking at the website computer's gone the kid doesn't get to look at the computer at all now. And then the kid comes back and goes, Hey, uh, can we go back to when I was just not looking at those websites again? You're going to say, Hell no, you dumbass. Get up there and do your homework. Make your bed. Your computer privileges are gone. That's kind of where we're at with Smoggit right now, so. right? <laughs> Is we, 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 uh, we've just pissed them off enough where they've taken our privileges away. And hopefully trust will be earned back. They'll be a little bit more Wary. understanding about us uh, doing things that are of benefit for the community because I still stand by that I do not like this course of action. I do not think this is good for the community. Logging on to other people's accounts to do their polls is one of the most requested things we get as content creators from, review, from uh, users. Doing account reviews, helping the new guy build his new Wyvern team because he doesn't understand the gear system and he wants somebody there to hold his hand and show him how to make things happen. That kind of stuff is peak content valuable to the community and really, really helpful. And taking that away <laughs> bye hurts bye, the community. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm I, kind of sad that's gone and I hope they find a way to get this back. Um, we'll still be able to somewhat do account reviews through um, through screenshots, through uh, recordings of people accounts. Like, they, like Genizod did a really great video where he reviewed the uh, top RTA, or I think it was the, the World Cup player winner's account um, after it Art. happened. So everybody got to see the, the gear and the stuff and how he did it. He'll still be able to do that kind of stuff, but he won't be able to do it direct hands-on where he's inside the account anymore. He's gonna have to ask the guy to send him a video going through all of the units, and then he's gonna have to use that video to review the account. So it's extra hassle for streamers, it's extra steps, and it's gonna reduce the, uh, the ease of access and make players not engage with that style of content as much. And that's, that's disappointing, and I hope we can find a workaround. My, my last comment is for you streamers out there who um, are relatively new at streaming and say, I'll just hop in Discord, <laughs> yeah, like Finks just said it, I'll just hop in Discord, share my screen, and uh, he, can, uh, he can use my shared screen to review my account. If you're a streamer, be very, very careful with that, right? Make sure you know the person, and I don't mean in some parasocial sense, like he's been a sub in my channel for three weeks, I mean, really know the person right because you don't have control over what's on that screen you're sharing and yeah that's all it takes display right is you're sharing their screen and they think it'll be funny and edgy and they pull up a hentai site and boom you go on a permanent trick to cancun you are uh you are you're you get because uh you, you put up some hardcore stuff there is no uh, first or second warning. You're just done. You don't get to be on YouTube or Twitch anymore. And there goes your, 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 you know, maybe even your livelihood. So don't share screens with somebody you don't trust, right? Work from videos, work from screenshots if you want to review an account. And, and, until Smilegate gets their panties untwisted on this one, because they're really kind of upset with everybody right now. Um, and Marguerite was definitely the uh, the tipping point for all of this, but uh, he ain't, he ain't so, uh, the only one. Yeah, and and and, 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 and as a father, I can understand their standpoint, right? You told the kid no, don't do this thing, and then the kid did this thing, and you went over and said, don't do this thing. You do this thing, you're in trouble. And the it. kid goes, okay, I'll be good, I'll be good. And then about a year later, the kid does the thing again, and you're like, okay, you yeah, you wanted to you ride get. this train, so here we are. So yeah, I don't, I think the, I think the steps they're taking are a little bit over, but I get that the angle that they can take is just, we're going to enforce the terms of service in a much more aggressive and strict manner. We're, we're not, we're, we used to turn a blind eye to things and we're not anymore. You do this stuff, you're going to get banned. We're just enforcing what's already there. This, this is not a change. It's just an enforcement. And the reason for the enforcement, the reason for the change of attitude is People were just blatantly doing the things that they specifically told us not to do. So what's that you said about becoming an
about E7 becoming an esports thing. E7 announced their esportsification. I still think it's the dumbest phrase ever. Uh, well over two years ago, and it, it's a market they really wanted to tap into. And um, one of the biggest inhibitors to being a legitimate esport um, is the lack of competitive integrity. We, we watched an E7 World Cup happen where a player, when, where an account was played, and then we watched the very next year where the same account was played on World Cup with a person who either had major reconstructive bone surgery <laughs> or it was a different person. You, would, you could have been either one, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm not yeah, I'm making askucations. It could have been either one, but it was one of those, right? There, there hasn't McDonald's been, surgery. there hasn't been a World Cup where there wasn't some drama about cheating, and that's not a good look. When you know, it's hard to be taken seriously as a as an esports. It's hard to get sponsors advertising, you know, especially when they're starting to actually do legitimate like esports quality prize pools. You don't want to just give that money away and then have to deal with taking it back through accusations of cheating. So, uh, so yeah. Um, I know people said, why didn't they just do the World Cup live in Korea? They wanted to. That was the original plan. There was I issues the with travel documents, um, there, so, the timeline to get the visas and everything. They thought they had everything taken care of and under control, and it turned out it was going to take a lot longer than they thought, and there was no way to get that paperwork done and get the people there in time. So they were kind of forced into doing it the way they're doing it. They're smarter about it now. I, I'm I not sure it, if it I was something it that went on in the world at the time that changed things, but they're smarter about it now. I don't see it being a problem, and I strongly suspect um, the 2024 World Cup will be live, although we've not gotten, not, not gotten any confirmation yeah, on that. I, I'm going to say one thing, though. Um, don't give content creators shit for having streamed RTA live, for uh, logging onto people's accounts, for doing reviews. If you feel other people are doing things that are... Uh, not okay and that you feel they cause the problems cut them some slack because one thing smilegate didn't do is come out and say uh guys stop this shit immediately and tell everyone you know to stop this shit immediately it's not okay just all, all of a sudden out of the blue we get a post that says oh by the way we're killing all of this stuff and we're pissed at you for doing these things now given they told us several years ago only passive stuff don't do competitive play don't go doing guild wars don't go doing arena don't go completing side stories don't go finishing hunts for people don't do things that progress the account especially don't climb ladder but they said that years ago and it's slowly been creeping up this didn't change overnight people have been slowly creeping this up and more and more has been happening and finally smoggate said that's it enough we're done and they, 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 they flipped the dinner table over and they grabbed the kid and took him out behind the tool shed and smacked the crap out of us, right? At no point in time did they come out and say, hey guys, maybe uh, maybe tell everybody to knock this off before we have to make you go and pick your own switch. So <laughs> I, you got to understand, right? That if other people are doing it, they're making content out of it, what are you going to do? Are you going to be the one streamer that's not also doing it, not also making content. I mean, we all are cannibalizing the same uh, pool of players. Everybody wants to be relevant. Everybody wants to have their thing, to have their niche. You know, some guys want to do account reviews. Some guys want to help new players. Some guys want to do Guild Wars. Some guys want to do PVE. Some guys want to do PVP. And all the players want to engage with that. Just today, I got an email saying, hey, would you take care of this thing for me? How much would it cost? I'm like, I can't do that and don't ask anybody to do that because here's the thing. Let's say I did. Let's say I logged into that guy's account and played his account for him on stream and stuff. You know whose account's getting banned? His. I'll get a stern talking to. I might get a ban. I probably will get kicked out of the program. But the guy who shared his account is the one who broke the rules. I never shared my account. I didn't break the rules technically. I just played on somebody else's account that I shouldn't have played on, so that his account got banned. So just realize that it's playing on multiple accounts dangerous now as well. Here is a link to the terms of service and nowhere in the terms of service can I find anything that says multiple accounts are against the rules. So yeah, having, no, uh, having no, alts is fine. Are okay. Yeah, I thought for sure alts were not okay, but I read through it and as long as you own the account, it's okay. 
And don't think you're being clever by saying, um, you know, hey, Sue, uh, I am giving you my account. Go take it to Legend for me. Oh, hey, Sue, you got it to Legend. That's amazing. I had a change of heart, Sue. Give me the account back. Give me the account back. I changed my mind. Smogate is not Somebody even if that even if pit. that's even if that's completely honest and the way shit actually went down, they'll never believe it, yeah, right? They will shady, never yeah. believe it. I'm yeah, giving you my account for three hours. Yeah, no, yeah. they they're they're not going to be cool with it, guys. And especially right now, like I said, oh, yeah. they're on high alert right now. Is the is the exact wording that we were given? Is that Korea is on high alert, and they are giving no fucks. It will uh. They will be aggressive, and they said specifically, if evidence is given that you are doing this and it's legitimate, verifiable no, evidence, you will be banned. So, they will not be going after people retroactively. No, not um, retroactively. They, they, they basically said, this shit stops now. If you do this moving forward, you're done. Retroactively would be a pain in the butt, right? Re <laughs> what about account reviews and stuff? Not on your account. You want you want me to do an account review for you, King? You jump onto your account, you screen record a whole bunch of stuff, you you Google Drive me the video, I'll pull that video up and review your account. You want to you want me to account re or review certain units, you send me screenshots of those units, I'll pull those screenshots up and review your account. But the days of me logging onto your account and moving gear around for you and helping you build things and talking about it that way, no, that is right out. Can I use an emulator and a phone? There is nowhere in the terms of service that says you cannot use an emulator. They talk uh, about, no, no, it says if you use an emulator, Smilegate is held harmless for any negative impact of you using an emulator. So basically they're saying if you use LD player and China uses it to steal all of your personal info and you wind up getting 10, you wind up getting 10,000 cars purchased on your credit card, that ain't Smilegate's fault. Yeah. This or does not mess with the Huawei promo. And then somebody uses it to log into your account and you get banned. They're also not responsible. Yeah. Uh, if you if you use an emulator and the emulator does something <laughs> that negatively impacts you, it, it, it's all about that. It's all about saying Smilegate is not responsible for an, any negative impact you have using quote unquote unauthorized software. There's a whole section on illegal software and it goes into illegal software are things like things that negatively impact the game that uh, look at data they're not supposed to look at, things like that. But the, the unapproved software, the unapproved software, which is like emulators, that is things that could harm your account that Smilegate didn't mess with. And they're saying, if it screwed your account, you're done. Where would coaching fall under this? Like live RTA coaching? Like if you're in an RTA room and they're cross streaming your fight while they're talking to you, they don't have, seem to have a problem with that. If you're talking about RTA coaching, like I log on to your account and say, okay, this is how you, I'm going to build this unit. So it'll be good in RTA. Now we'll jump into a mock room and do some mock battle fights. So you can see, no, I cannot be on your account for any reason. Wait, uh, are emulators harmful? Some people will tell you that Bluestacks will set your computer on fire. Other people will tell you that LD Player is basically giving China all of your personal information. Um, I think if you have TikTok no or hack, HSR no on your phone, you're kind of screwed there anyway. But yeah, I mean, everybody freaking uses emulators, and I don't think Just, anybody's really had uh, problems. But uh, I, I remember mean, Shuffles, is... Shuffles blamed his GPU catching on fire on Bluestacks. I don't know. Smoggy has no problem with emulators, but they put in a nice CYA statement that says, if you get fucked up because you use an emulator, don't come crying to us. That's on you. But nobody will get banned from using an emulator as long as the emulator is not used in such a way as to cause problems for Epic 7. Like if you decide to use the emulator's built-in macro or you decide to use Bluestacks' multi-instances to run 50 instances of Epic 7 so you can spam pull at the same time and you make the game RAS lag, yeah, they'll take, they'll, they'll take some action against that. But just doing what I'm doing right now, playing the game on LD Player, they aren't going to care about that. If we had a client, we wouldn't need an emulator. Yep. And I mean, uh, we technically the, do, the, 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 the Facebook client, which they killed, the, the Amazon client on Windows 11, which they are, uh, which they are kind of, you know, kind of moving away from. I think that's dying. The Google Play client, all those are built in emulation, right? 
they're not running a separate they're not a a standalone client they are an emulator they're uh, run, they're running the mobile code emulate on computer but since they're resident clients they run a lot faster they run as clean as running on a tablet they don't take nearly as much gpu stuff but they're not written a, 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 a standalone client is written in a completely separate computer language keep in mind that they are official though rather than unofficial under in terms of terms of service so like for example any player playing underneath the google play emulation isn't using an unofficial program it's using an official one technically since they have an agreement with google play that's a, that's a clear distinction. Yeah, Google Play emulator counts as playing with Google Play on a mobile device. Mm -hmm. it, it's like if the iTunes store allowed you to play a mobile game on the computer, it, it's still the same thing. So. But regardless, um, the TOS is pretty specific on this, right? Let's uh, hang on. Let's just find it right here. See, there's illegal programs. Just watch videos, bro. And they go into a tire section on illegal programs. And then there's use of unauthorized programs. This is emulators. All programs that are not officially provided or approved by Epic 7 are considered unauthorized programs. Epic 7 does not, or Smogate will not take any responsibility for issues caused by the use of unauthorized programs in an instance where action of abusing disturbing gameplay or services occurred by unauthorized programs the program users can face restrictions in the use of service i'll i'll d break this down into non-lawyer ease if you use an emulator and something happens smilegate is held harmless if you use an emulator and do it in a way that abuses the game like using a macro or disturbs the gameplay like using multi instances and it slows down and lags epic 7 for everyone else then you can face restrictions banned from the game that's what it means fribbles would fall under I believe well, Fribbles falls under unauthorized and illegal unauthorized would be use of Fribbles but I believe um I would have to read this a little more carefully, but I believe the terms of service part of Fribbles isn't Fribbles itself, but is the importer. Because the importer scrapes data uh, from the packets that are not supposed to be accessible. Because if you can scrape the data, you can modify the data and re-inject the data, and that's against the rules. And that's the difference between sniffing data, which is, you know, scraping it, which is what Fribbles does, and modifying and putting it putting those packets back out there and sending them to the servers, which is injecting, which is a form of hacking. That is they they really don't much care about the sniffa data, but they really do care about the injection data cuz that's actually actively sending stuff to their servers that they didn't intend to be sent there. And uh, I would say almost all of the bands that aren't the unusual account creation bans that you see on the uh, ban yeah, posts are people injecting or attempting to eject. Either injecting numbers through damage hacks or injecting units in the sense that, hey, this uh, this two speed, yeah, that's gonna say 25 speed and now I can roll the piece. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a great screenshot somewhere uh, of a, uh, guy, a level 35 player, rank 35 player, and um, he uh, he was the top score in Hall of Trials with like five times the score of the high second place. So anybody says that no no you can't do that yeah you you can do it you'll get caught really freaking fast <laughs> but you can do yeah. it and then banned but... yeah caught and banned <laughs> and that's why they do it right it's like well why did they do it if they're getting banned they're 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 checking like we'll try it this way see if we get banned oh we'll try it this way see if we... and and they're they're looking for ways to cheat that Smallgate can't find and then they can cheat yeah. Yep. So, it's a level 35 account. They don't care if it gets banned. Yeah, yeah. Those make another one. Try yeah. again. Rotate yeah. the IP. Yes, Fribbles is just sniffing. If Fribble, if it was after your gear is done, you could push another button to make the changes happen in Epic Seven. That would be a big, big issue for Smilegate because yeah. you're having a third-party program push data to the server. Hell, you may as well just modify it in Fribbles and push it to the server. They would shut that down in New York minute. But they've kind of turned a blind eye to Fribbles because. It's just sniffing the data, and it's they don't consider that abusing. It's not disturbing the gameplay uh, or service to to the customers. But if and it's uh, the customer doing it to their own data, so you know, 
But what if I have a macro in LD player for rolling the shop and bookmark hunting? They would consider that abusing the unauthorized program. Now, as long as you don't brag about using that macro on um, Reddit, as long as you don't live stream using it, as long as you don't jump into a Discord and show people how to do it, and the one guy there that hates you goes and reports you to Smilegate, you will probably never get caught. Probably. People have been using macros since 2018, and Smilegate is never banned for it. But I can tell you now that Smilegate is on high alert. They said they're going to take their terms of service way more to heart. They, they, they are unhappy with the cheating. They want to be able to say this is a safe game where you can come and play and not worry about cheaters ruining it for everybody. So they're going to be much more aggressive about the terms of service. So if you decide to press that macro button, you're a big boy. You can figure it out for yourself. But realize the risk you're taking and be safe out there. Don't do something that's going to get you banned. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. If you're if you're going to do drugs, don't brag about it to the cop. And don't forget to poop the fish. <laughs> don't don't if you got if you got a joint in your pocket that you want to enjoy at home, maybe don't mention it to the police officer standing on the corner how you're really going to enjoy the joint in your pocket. And that's what you got to consider here. If you're going to break the terms of service, don't cry about it if you get burned for it. If you don't want to risk time. getting burned for it, don't break the terms of service. Guys, the long and the short on this is, remember, terms of service aren't about making us play a certain way. They're about protecting Smilegate as a company. They're about keeping them from being litigated and making their lives easier. And right now, Marguerite did not make their lives easier. I'm sure they've actually got lawyer expenses wrapped up in dealing with this situation. So anything that kind of smacks of that and right now climbing ladder is just like well these people that are climbing ladder these are the kind of people who are going to fight in our tournaments these are the kind of people we don't want in our tournaments we need to make sure everybody knows this is not okay this is an example of it negatively impacts smilegate they're going to take action against it <laughs> so just be careful guys they've got zero chill right now just just play play smart yep don't be a dumb dumb <laughs>